July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. This week, the Johnson County Sheriff's Office recovered 32 dogs from the home of Roger Mollett in Flat Gap. Since then, he has been charged with second-degree animal cruelty. At this point, 12 adult dogs and four puppies still remain at the shelter. One dog was considered to be in critical condition. He was rushed to a veterinarian immediately. He had coccidia, roundworms, hookworms, and whipworms. He could not open his mouth. He had to have a blood transfusion. Um, I did get to see him this morning at the vet, and he's opening his mouth a little bit more. Two adult dogs and four puppies were taken to an animal rescue in Knoxville. All were considered to be in terrible condition with ringworm and flea anemia. One is also suffering from an eye infection. Today, the Johnson County Animal Shelter transported 13 dogs to an animal rescue in Cincinnati. Nine of those were from the home in Flat Gap. Those from Flat Gap were covered in fleas and ticks. It is heartbreaking, and if you if you take a minute to think about these babies, I mean, you're going to cry. I've, I've taken a moment and just sat and cried because no dog should have to go through this. Shelter officials say this has taken a toll on the Johnson County Shelter. Having 32 dogs come into a shelter that's already full, of course, the, the cost of the bedding increases, the cost of food increases, and manpower. We've had to call in additional um, staff to help take care of this many animals. The dogs recovered from Flat Gap are not yet ready to be adopted. Each one that has been removed from the shelter has gone to rescues that release animals into foster once medically treated. Those who wish to donate to the Johnson County Animal Shelter can do so by using the methods listed on your screen. Reporting in Staffordsville, I'm Shelby Steele for EKB News.